Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. This beginner workout is gonna be a full body strength workout. So a little bit of everything. We're gonna be using a variety of dumbbells, so grab those. I'm also gonna be using the floor, but if you have a bench you want to lie on, that's fine as well. I'm gonna start you with a warm up. We'll end with a cool down. And your format for the workout today will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. We are going to progressively overload for at least two rounds so you get a nice little work on those specific muscles. Hey, if you're looking for a cardio workout for tomorrow, there's a beginner cardio workout at the top of the screen. You can click or tap that and do that one tomorrow. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's go. Strength on the watch. Get things warmed up here with a single arm circle. Big stretch back. Now, I will state what weight amount I'm using, but remember I've been doing this for a long time. I'm gonna try and think about what I would give a typical beginner in a workout like this. All right, but you can go lighter, you can go heavier. You've got to listen to your body, switch sides, and do what's best for you. I always recommend starting very, very light if you're new to fitness, switch directions. You're gonna be able to lift heavier than you can, but your body isn't used to doing it for multiple reps, right? So you gotta remember that and just lift accordingly. Reach across, tap this out. Up and over now, little squat in the center. Good. Let's go into some front and back bends. Knees are soft, feet are wide. We'll hinge forward at the waist and push your hips forward gently. Last one here. And we'll go to some toe touches. If you can't reach your toe, toe just touch your knee or your shin. It's alternating sides here. Last one here. Good. Bring your feet a little closer. Shoulder width. We'll squat and reach right here. Okay, if you can't squat, you're just gonna swing the arms right here. Last one here. Hip openers up and over. Get that ball and socket warmed up as well. Two more here. And let's go into some heel sweeps. We're gonna sweep and dig alternate sides. Last one here. And a little torso rotation right here to finish off our warm up. Very good. All right, folks, here's your first four exercises. You're starting with a goblet squat. Now, you could do this without weight, just a typical squat. You could do this on a chair and then just sit and stand. I'm gonna hold a 10 pound dumbbell, feet shoulder width and squat. Drop it low and push. All right, back needs to stay very tall. Chin is up, okay, looking at me and reach your hips back. This is gonna mimic Picking up a toddler, right? Being able to bend down, pick one up, hold it. Well, a baby maybe at 10 pounds, but 
That's where we can work ourselves up as we get more fit. Okay, let's set that down. We're gonna go into a fire hydrant. So I want you down on the ground here. I'll come halfway on the leg. We're gonna come up to the side, working that medial glute muscle. All right, flat back and lift, lift, great. More here and switch your leg. Already getting that burn. Let's come standing. We're going to do some leg extensions. I'm going to hold an eight pound dumbbell at the side of my leg. All right, knee is soft, we're gonna lift right here. Again, I'll call half, you can have no weight if you like. You're up, and to the side, great. One more here, and switch your side, and lift. shoulder width, shoulders back, drop it low, and drive. for that fire hydrant again. Nice flat back. Again, I'll call half. You could use a mini band in this if you have one handy, but otherwise, let's lift right here. One more here. Switch your side. leg extension, with or without a weight. I'm gonna switch back to the other side. Knee is soft, and out to the side and behind. Here we go, you're here. Good. All right, switch your side. arms. I'm going to grab my other 10 for some bicep curls, or sorry, my other eight. And we're going to do a pinwheel curl crossing in front, palm faces the ceiling just like this. These are soft. And you curl, flex at the top. 
very good. Try not to rotate your body, just that elbow is bending here. Lighten my weights a little bit for that bicep curl to tricep kick back. Palms are facing. All right, we're gonna stand and curl, then hinge and kick. So it's a nice curl and kick. Let's work. Up, hinge, kick, curl and kick. Make sure your back is nice and flat and those abs are engaged. You feel them squeeze. to a full range of motion front raise here. So palms facing the thighs. We're gonna come up to the ceiling and then slow on the descent, okay? Roll those shoulders back, lighten if you need. All the way up, go slow, two, three, and four. You could just bring these to 90 degrees as well, if that is your range of motion. Okay, that would just be here, and that's fine. Last one here. Round two, back to our bicep curls. Eights or tens or fives, somewhere in that range. Shoulders back, curl in the front. those biceps at the top of the contraction here. Really squeeze. Good. And moving into the bicep curl, tricep kickback. Lighter weights for me. You could use threes or fives. Curl, hinge, and kick. Here we go.
Very good, set those down. We're gonna make our way down to the ground for a little chest press here. So you can grab eight tens on your back or on your bench. We're gonna press over the chest. Here we go. Press right here. I want you to flex your pec muscles at the top. You squeeze your chest and bring those arms down to the floor again. And stay over the chest, not the neck. Press. Good. into a bit of a tricep by bringing the arms in, palms facing each other, and we're gonna press straight up and down, flexing those triceps at the top, so really straighten your arm. Up into bridge, and here we go. Press it up and down, up and down. Legs are at 90 degrees. Get those weights out of the way. We're gonna go all the way down to one side and then to the other. Here we go. So slow, slow. Try to keep your shoulder blades on the ground. And don't let those knees touch, okay? They go low, but they don't touch the ground. if you need. I'm going to stick with these on your back for that chest press to the ceiling and push. Flex at the top. Again, palms are facing. We're going to hit that tricep press. Focusing on our triceps. Let's pop those hips up into a glute bridge to activate the glutes a little bit more. And press to the ceiling. to that windshield wiper, arms are out to the side, legs at 90 degrees, side to side, keep the shoulders to the ground. Here we go, and reach, reach, up, up, other side.
Good. All right, we're gonna come to standing. I'll give you a few seconds. Make sure you're not dizzy. Grab some water if you need. And here's the next circuit. We're gonna move it to a one arm row. I'll call halfway, you can switch your hand. So you might be able to do a 10, 12, 15, maybe hold two fives in one hand. Let's hinge forward at the waist. You can prop yourself up here or on something. And you're rowing. Good, straight up, elbow comes toward the ceiling. Working those back muscles. Switch your side, flat back, and row. We're gonna grab some lighter weights. It's gonna do whatever you can overhead press because we're gonna do a King Kong which is a squat, curl, press combination right there. Feet wide, shoulders back. Drop, curl, press right there. to the side just like this nice side crunch and then we'll switch halfway here we go reach it here working those obliques and even if you can't lift your leg high you can still be here with that crunch last one here and switch your side Last round here, let's go back to our one arm row. What can you do? What can you challenge the muscle with, with good form? Nice flat back, elbow drives toward the ceiling, nice neutral neck, and lift it here. sides and a row. Moving into that King Kong. I'm going to go up to eights. Do whatever feels good for you. For that shoulder press, wide stance, roll the shoulders back, squat, curl, press, drop it low. Keep those abs engaged as you press overhead. Last exercise, let's move into that standing ab. We've hit a little bit of everything today, upper, lower abs. Let's finish strong, nice little crunch to the side. 
Sparkle Haar. Last one on this side and switch your leg. Last four, three, two, one and done. New Move Daily, your total body strength beginner workout. Thanks for joining. Be sure to join for a stretch. If you can, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed today's workout. Let's take it down to the ground for the stretch today. Let's sit in this position here. Hinge forward at the waist and stretch it into that hamstring muscle. If it's available to you, you can grab your foot, draw it towards yourself and lengthen in through that Achilles and your calf a little bit there. Woohoo! Good. That feels good. Nice work, everyone. I do like a nice little strength training. I think it's so important to switch sides to bear weight on those ligaments and joints and challenge the muscles to stay active so they don't atrophy. Right? Uh, I'm not sure if you were part of the menopause transition summit. I, I did a few coaching calls with Dr. Stills in our membership and on Instagram. And anyway, she had this summit where there was over 40 different professionals speaking. And so I joined in a number of the conversations. Let's go into butterfly stretch here. And there was this one bone doctor on there. Um, just in the, you're just talking again about the importance of bearing weight on those ligaments and joints and lifting heavy things, right? To not only increase the density of the bone as we age, because as estrogen drops, it starts to diminish but the quality of the bone was really important as well. So I thought that was an interesting concept that the foods you eat, the lifestyle that you live, like throughout the whole summit, that's what I got out of it the most was that lifestyle is so important, right? One doctor talked about it as being like a big puzzle and hormones are sort of this 400 pieces in the center of the puzzle, but the lifestyle, which is where we start a puzzle, we start on the edge, we, we create the border. That's the 600 pieces of the equation for feeling optimal, your optimal self, right? Is to really have the lifestyle dialed in. So that's your nutrition, that's right, your gut health, that's your sleep. So many of them talked about their stress levels and cortisol levels and managing that, like learning strategies for mindful attention and mindfulness, right? If it's downloading an app or seeing a therapist or Shinrin Yoku, forest bathing out in nature, like there's a lot of things that we can do, but there's also just so many parts to the equation. I guess that's what I came away from the summit with. There's a lot of moving parts and which is why I love my motto of moving daily because it's not necessarily that you have to move every single day in doing a full strength workout. But how else did you move your body today? What did you do to move your body daily in your fitness? Move your body or move your mind daily in your wellness. Move your internal organs and your stomach and your digestion and your micronutrient processes in your nutrition. Right? There's so much that we can do. So little bits every day is the dripping water on the stone, smooths it, not through force, but through consistency says Ovid, it's my favorite quote of all time, for a reason. <laughs> it's just so true. Just like whatever we do, if we're consistent and we stick with it, we will shift and change. Thanks for joining. That was great. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.